In this video, I'm going to talk about the JSON underscore encode and the JSON underscore decode function of the PHP. These functions are used to convert an array or an object or any value first to a JSON string and then convert a JSON string back to the array or the object. Now to understand what is a JSON is, JSON is also known as the JavaScript object notation and it's a lightweight data interchange format. So if you have a server on which your software is running and you want to send the data externally to another server, let's say a tax return or a billing information, this is one of the most user friendly format to work with. So I'll, I'm going to keep this very simple. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you the example. So to understand the example, let's create an array, which I've already created for you in this PHP file. And this is a data object or a kind of data holder for a guitar company. Uh, and uh, it has some information about the customer. So let's say the name of the customer is Bob. He has some fictitious ID as assigned by the system. And he owns guitars which are Gibson and Yamaha and one of them is electric and the year of purchase was 1975 and another is acoustic and the year of purchase was 1960. If I want to send this information to any other server or any other system, I cannot send this array because this is in the format of PHP and another server might be running a JavaScript or a Java program. So what do I do is I apply a function called as JSON underscore encode and pass the dollar array parameter to it to create a JSON specific string. Since we know that this is a string, I'm going to echo this string out to the browser. So let's save it and run this program on the browser. Now, as you can see, that a string has been outputted. Do not worry about the um, too many uh, curly braces out here. Uh, this is the way the string is encoded and this is the way it is to be read by any other system. So pass it to any other library, for example, a JavaScript library which reads JSON uh, uh, or a Java library and it will be able to recognize and break it down back into an array. So let's say we send it to a PHP server. So what is going PHP server going to do next? It's going to convert it back to the array for its processing. To do that, it's going to utilize a function called as JSON underscore decode, which will be, let's take this one into a string, score encode, and dollar pass it dollar array, and let us decode the string back to an array. So dollar string and we name it dollar decoded array equal to important thing is to understand that there's a parameter called the second parameter called as whether we want to have it a associative array or not that means whether we want to create the same array that we had obtained from the input and keep the structure as same so i'm just going to give for now the value as true and since I know this is an array I'm going to uh, do an output of this the best way to do an output is go pre print underscore r and dollar decoded array and then close this HTML tag okay save it and run it once again so you can see we have got our array back. If you compare, what it does is it has basically collapsed this array into the string and we have expanded it again back to the array format. Now what if I had not used the true option over there? Let's remove the true option and check out, save it and check out the value once again. So because of this, now it's not 
an array anymore but is an object that means if you try to access it using the index for example decode array and you try to access name it will produce an error so let's do that save it and run the program once again we can see that the error is very specific out here cannot use object of type standard class as array so you cannot use it as array anymore instead you will have to do it like this which is the way to access the members of the object let's check it out once again that's it so that is the primary difference between when you put true here and when you remove it so this is a very handy approach there are so many options to this uh, doing this thing that it's impossible to cover in a video so I encourage you to go into the PHP manual and check out all the options of JSON underscore encode check out all the examples given here and also JSON underscore decode which might get tricky sometimes if you have complicated data so I hope you like this video and please share it with your friends and uh, share it on your social media uh, profiles and uh, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.